And welcome back to American Agenda. I'm Heather Childers along with Bob Sellers. A true colors showing at this year's Olympics as the U.S. women's soccer team focuses on kneeling during the national anthem. Well, they flubbed the semifinal game against Canada, one to nothing. And Canada, by the way, hadn't beat the U.S. since 2001. A former Trump aide and radio host Wayne Dupree slamming the team, saying... Little Miss Purple Hair and her team of woke warriors fell flat on their faces. The woke women's soccer team can kiss their dreams of winning gold goodbye. Let's bring back in our panel for their thoughts on this. Um, Ford, I'll start with you, but I also want to bring this up. Uh, we can't forget the athlete uh, making history, sort of, and headlines. We mentioned uh, as we went to break the transgender weightlifter, Laurel Hubbin. Uh, well, she's crashed out of the Olympics, failing all three attempts. This, of course, coming after the Olympics Committee introduced a testosterone threshold, which critics say um, Hubbard set a dangerous precedent doing damage to women's sports. So just your thoughts overall, Ford. Well, biological men should not be competing in biological female sports, you know, whatsoever. And I will never root against USA, but I'll tell you this morning when I read that about the women's soccer team, I definitely cracked a smile in my living room. Here's the issue since 2003, the women's soccer team has been ranked one or two in the world according to FIFA rankings. And it's quite clear that a good number of the folks on that team were more concerned about being woke individuals than focusing on soccer, and that's why they lost. Yeah, I, I think that also, Melanie, you know, we're spending more time talking about the Olympics here than people actually watching it as well. <laughs> That's absolutely true. As President Trump said last week, woke equals lose. And as usual, <laughs> President Trump was absolutely right about that. They need to but maybe a little more practice, a little less woke, start beating people. It's, it's absolutely a disgrace that they get on the international stage, the world stage, and then embarrass America instead of being proud to be American. If you, if you can be from other countries that are not nearly as great as the United States of America and be proud of your country, then you certainly can get on the world stage and be proud of America. It is absolutely ridiculous that they get on the world stage and embarrass us the way they do. And yeah. then embarrass us doubly by losing on top of it. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you know, more woke than winning. Um, Dennis, there's also talk, though, uh, Simone Biles, she's been in the headlines a lot lately, um, but there is talk that Tuesday, tomorrow, that she will go for the gold, uh, taking part in the, the balance beam final after pulling out of three individual events um, and the final. Uh, so what do you think about this? Well, you know, I, I can't imagine the pressure that she has been under and how she's put herself under it. You know, I'm glad to see her coming back into it. Mm -hmm. But um, I, I just got a comment. Melanie's right about this, you know, uh, with regard to, uh, you, you know, if you want to run for, for office, then run for office. Don't play, don't play soccer. Don't play sports if you want to make a political statement. We go to watch sports because we want to see athletes, the top athletes perform. We want to get a political statement. Go run for office. And uh, the other part of this about the transgender Olympia. Bob, I feel for your daughters. You know, age 17, Title IX sports are going to be out there getting look, working towards scholarships, and here you are, you're going to be preempted by somebody who now wants to be a woman who has the physical attributes of a man because they are a man, getting out there to compete against them. We're doing a total disservice to, to women's sports and Title IX sports. It's what in the world is going on? Yeah. And, and by the way, the Simone Biles thing, I don't have anything against her. I think she, she seems, you know, she was kind of America's sweetheart for a few years. Uh, and she's uh, been on Dancing with the Stars, on the cover of magazines. She's gotten a lot of attention. And if she, her mind wasn't right to go into the Olympics, that, that's understandable. Who knows where she is? She's gone through a lot. I have respect for that. What I think is unfortunate is there's some girl that's still in the United States uh, who could have been on the Olympic team, who would have competed. And, and I just, you know, when it comes to pressure in sports, I'm sorry, but that's part of the game. And you can pull out of it, and I respect that. Mm -hmm. But it's part of the equation. Tom Brady was down 28-3, probably a lot of pressure, came back, won the Super Bowl. I mean, that's part of what builds into the legacy. And nobody will ever take away Simone Biles was a, a gold medal winner and, and at that time the best gymnast in the world. I just wish she would have done this before they picked the Olympic team so somebody else could have gone.
Yeah, I think what happened, as I understand it, um, as she explained it, she got what they refer to as the twisties. I, I know. I have routine. a daughter that. Yeah. Yeah, I have. I have a daughter who was right. very good at gymnastics and competed. Yeah. Obviously, not as good as Simone Biles, who was the best. But I get that. I just find it. Um, what she's going through. It's interesting to me that it right. happens at the moment. There's the most pressure. It seems like. I, I, I can't say that's not true. I'm just saying it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate yeah. that some other girl didn't get a chance to go. Right. Go ahead, Ford. Bob, Bob raised the point. I'll say that over the last five to six years, Simone Biles has probably been the best athlete, male or female, in the entire world. And I think Bob, as yep. somebody who's competed in baseball at UVA, has really hit, hit the nail on the head. And that is, if you were going to do this, do it before the Olympics, not only for the team events and everything else, but now that you're coming back, yes, I hope she gets gold. But the fact that you can stop, start, stop, start, that's not only not fair to your teammates, it's not fair to America. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I think I see it a little bit differently because, uh, as I understood the twisties to be, she lost where she was. She didn't know where she was going to land. And you have to kind of get that mindset back. And when you do that and you're um, competing as a gymnast, I mean, she could land on her neck and, and kill herself very Absolutely. easily. Absolutely. Um, Gravity doesn't take a yeah. day off. So. I exactly. I absolutely agree with you, Heather. And, and, and I just want to say one thing about being disappointed in, in her not competing. Right. And I understand being disappointed, but the absolute vitriol that was coming her way from some people on my side of the aisle and some conservatives, name calling and things like that was completely unacceptable. Yeah. And, I and just another team, yeah. Yeah, and, and another team member yeah. jumped in and won the gold. So you know. But there's a girl in the U.S. Right. who could have gone on the That's team. True. That's all I'm saying. That's true. That's all that I'm saying. True. I have nothing against her. I still. I know. <laughs> we don't think that you do, Bob. Uh, all right, okay. everyone, stand by though, because coming up, uh, replacing and erasing biological sex. Why? Is the American Medical Association and talks to remove sex from birth certificates. Well, we know you want to talk about that, and we will coming up next on American Agenda.